Once upon a time, like this past week, in the very magical and sometimes very weird kingdom of Thurkston, there was a magnificent castle. I lived in it because I worked in it, and trust me when I say it was no picnic working there. I was, well, I still am, but I'm going to try and keep this story in the past tense, so I'll say I was the lady-in-waiting for the royal child, the Princess Miani. I'll tell you all about that nine-year-old spoiled, ooh, oops, <laughs> my mistake, 10-year-old royal girl in a few seconds. But first, allow me to tell you why the castle was my prison. Oh, <laughs> I mean my home. Yikes! That was another slip of the tongue. I am Dominia, the lady-in-waiting to Princess Miani. Why do I have the title Lady in Waiting? <laughs> because all I have done for the past 10 years is wait on the princess hand and foot and day and night. Waiting means waiting for her to bark her commands at me. Dominia! I need my long, long, long curly hair brushed. I need all my red ruby necklaces, all my emerald rings, all my gold bracelets polished. I need my 500 shoes polished. I need my 1,232 dresses ironed. I need hot water in the bathtub. I need cold water in the bathtub. I need medium hot and medium cold water in the bathtub. I need my breakfast. I need my lunch. I need my dinner. I need my 9 p.m. snack. I need my 10 p.m. snack. I need my toilet cleaned. And here's the countdown to hearing her favorite word. Three, two, one. Now, now, now. That's her favorite word for sure. Now. <laughs> I tell you, there have been many times when I wanted to run out of the castle door and run far away to another kingdom and get a job doing something else. Like milking cows. Because cows can only say moo, not now, now, now. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you something. The princess's name is Miani. But all the kids in the kingdom call her Princess Mean E. You know, me and E, Mean E. Spoiled rotten! Meanest kid in the kingdom and the loneliest kid in the kingdom. She doesn't even have one friend. Well, one morning she said to me, Lady in waiting, Dominia, tomorrow is my birthday. I'll be nine years old. I want you to give me the best birthday party any girl has ever had in my father's kingdom. I want a balloon birthday party. Everything must be balloons. I even want a balloon crown to wear on my head and balloon jewelry. And I want every room in the castle decorated with balloons. And I want all the children in the kingdom to receive a balloon invitation. <laughs> oh, wait, there's more. She said, and on the invitation, it must say that each child attending the princess's balloon birthday party must bring presents. Oh, wait, there's still more. She yelled, each child must bring the princess three new dresses, three new pairs of shoes, and three necklaces, and three new handheld mirrors as my birthday presents. Oh, wait, there's still more. Then... She bellowed like a loud cow, and I want all the cookies, donuts, cakes in the shape of balloons. And when each kid finishes eating at my birthday party, each is to receive a bill for one million kingdom of thirsting pennies to pay for the desserts that they eat. <sighs> well, I had to do all that in one day. One day! One day! <gasps> well... I did it all. And guess what? Guess what happened? I sent out 2,134 invitations. Guess how many children showed up for the party? Go ahead and guess. Well, if you said zero, you are 100% correct. So what do you think happened? When she realized nobody was coming to her party, oh, good gracious, I wanted to hide under my bed. She started running around the room with a large safety pin and popped every balloon. Have you ever heard 1,000 balloons pop one after another? <laughs> if you haven't, I hope you never do. If you have, can you tell me how you got rid of your headache? Because mine won't go away. Well, for the next three days, she was unbearable to be around. Loneliness is such a horrible feeling. Nobody wants to be lonely. 
But without friends to play with, children, even a royal princess, feel lonely. Well, the screaming and crying got so bad, I knew I had to do something creative and even magical because I could not hide under the bed forever. <laughs> so I did something I hadn't ever thought I would do. I went up to the castle attic where I keep my chest of items from my childhood. Toys that my parents and grandparents gave me, books from my school teachers, paintings and drawings I did when I thought I might grow up and become an artist, and old winter clothes, gloves, scarves, heavy coats, woolen caps, boots, and a special ink pen filled with white ink. Yes, white ink and a special balloon. It was so white that it was nearly invisible. A magical white balloon. I wrote a message in white ink on the white balloon. It was very important that only the people, well, not exactly people, but who I was sending it to saw it. Here's my message. Greetings, Snow Empress. Greetings, Icicle Monarch. Greetings, Whirlwind Sovereign. I hope this balloon reaches you in the Crystal Castle. I have a princess who needs to learn an important lesson about generosity, courage, compassion, caring, love, all the elements that are important for making friends. I need your help immediately. I'll write my idea in winter wild language so it's very clear. Thank you. Dominia, the secret great-great-great-great-granddaughter of the long-ago winter wizard sky above the kingdom of Thurkson. I then climbed 3,458 steps and stood on the roof of the palace. I don't know which one hurt more, my legs or my lungs. <laughs> I realized I released the white magical balloon and watched it flow up into the clear sky, brightened by the hot summer sky. Within seconds, I knew that that balloon had reached the crystal castle. Because even though it was a hot summer day in our kingdom, the sun disappeared and the wind began to blow strongly and suddenly, it was snowing! <laughs> I ran down the 3,458 steps, I ran through the hallways, right, left, right, left, right, left, and straight into the royal princess's bedroom. Of course, she was having her usual temper tantrum, so I had to dock and weave to make sure the shoes, books, jewelry, hats she was throwing against the walls didn't smack me upside the head. Princess Meany, oh, oops, sorry, I mean Princess Meany, something strange is taking place. It's snowing in summer. She ran to the window immediately because she became even more angry. The snow was falling so fast and heavy, the kids were outside building snowmen and sled riding and having funny snowball fights. I felt so sad for the princess. She didn't have a friend to play with in the magical summer snowstorm. I said, Your Royal Highness, I'm a little afraid. What if it doesn't stop snowing? I don't care, she mumbled. I don't care about anything that happens in my father's kingdom. I said, But look, now it's snowing so fast and heavy that the snow is starting to cover the houses. Kids are running inside for protection. Horses and cows and pigs and chickens are running into the barns and sheds. Oh my goodness, there is too much snow. Something must be done to save the kingdom of Thurkston from being buried in the snow. The princess howled like a wolf. I don't care about anyone but me. But royal princess, if the people knew you saved their lives... Everyone would love you. Every child in the kingdom will want to be your best friend, not because you are a princess, but because you are kind-hearted and brave and generous and compassionate and caring. For the first time in her life, the royal princess stopped yelling. She was thinking. <laughs> that was a first, too. Thinking has never been her greatest talent, let me tell you. One thing I have learned is not to say anything without thinking first. How many times I've upset the princess by words coming out of my mouth without thinking first? When I saw how the princess was lost in thought about what I had told her about every child in the kingdom would want to be her best friend if she did something to show them how much she cared about them, I knew I had a chance to get her to act differently. 
Here's what you might think of doing, Your Royal Highness. The houses are being buried in the heavy snow. The barns and sheds also. No human being can exit their home. No animals can exit their habitat. Kids can't go to the kingdom school. Nobody can go to the kingdom grocery store. Dads and moms can't go to work in the kingdom's businesses. Nobody can eat. Everyone is going to turn really, really scared and sad and lonesome. And without going to school, well, all the kids are going to be so dumb. All the people in our neighboring kingdoms will call us the kingdom of dum-dums. <laughs> or they will call us the frozen snow people of Thurkston. What can I do? She mumbled. Well, <laughs> I nearly fell out of my chair hearing her ask that question. I replied, have your father, the king, send out an announcement. He can tell all the people that you volunteered to climb into a giant hot air balloon and fly up to the peak of the mountain in this snowstorm and go to the far away crystal castle and ask, not command, but ask the snow empress, the whirlwind wizard, and the icicle monarch to stop the winter weather in summer. She asked, oh, I know a better idea. I'll tell all the people that I am giving you a giant shovel and you are going to shovel the snow away from everyone's house. Now, you can start now, as soon as you go to the palace attic or basement or garage and get a shovel. <sighs> I tried my best not to say anything without thinking first. So I breathed deeply, <sighs> mostly to keep myself from screaming at the top of my lungs. Your Royal Highness, I quietly replied. The problem is that the snow and wind won't stop. The only thing that can stop them is for someone to go to the top of the mountain and ask the snow empress, the whirlwind wizard, and the icicle monarch to return summer weather to the kingdom. She didn't say anything until I said, you will have so many friends if you save the kids in your father's kingdom that you will have the most crowded birthday party next year. That did the trick. <laughs> she immediately commanded me to go into the palace attic, pull out the giant box, the royal hot air balloon that hadn't been used for many, many years. Of course, I was the one who had to fill it with hot air. And since the air pump was broken, guess whose lungs and lips were used to blow up the balloon? Oh, just one guess. Then we took it up to the palace roof. Are you ready? I asked. She looked so nervous. Without saying a word, she climbed inside. I lit the fire. Up and up and up she floated. Whew, I was so relieved the takeoff was so successful. I was also quite happy that I would get a little rest from hearing her bark. Do this now! Do this now! Well, her father, the king, sent out a royal announcement informing the people of his daughter's heroic mission. The snow and wind kept getting stronger and stronger. Everything was white. It looked as if the kingdom had evaporated into a giant white swirling cloud. Then suddenly, the sun, the bright orange sun, appeared in the sky. Suddenly, the snow stopped. Suddenly, the wind stopped. I knew the royal princess had reached the crystal castle. Success! The sun was so bright and hot that the snow melted rapidly. People and animals rushed outside from their homes and barns and sheds. Everyone was cheering, Long live Princess Meany, our hero! When the hot air balloon descended from the clear blue sky, the royal princess could see the crowds of cheering people. I had never seen her with such a big smile on her face. Everyone continued to cheer as loud as they could. People were even dancing in the streets. Long live our favorite princess, became the chant. The princess was so happy. She now had so many friends. <laughs> well, needless to say, I think I am both a lady-in-waiting and a creative thinker. In fact, here's what really surprised me too. The people of the kingdom held a big party for the princess. Nobody wanted to stop celebrating. Do you know what that meant for me? I got to sleep for two days and nights without hearing, Now! 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 Oh, the princess has so many friends now. She isn't lonely anymore. And I am not as tired as I used to be.